All right, um, let's finish this example. This is an example from the textbook. Okay, so we're going to follow textbook's idea. Um, so you can write down the solution over here. So we have two lines. Line one, it's easier to see if we actually write in this uh, vertical way then we can see easily what's the direction vector and also what's the point um, on this line. So this is line one, this is line two. And we have x is equal to 2s. Remember we use different parameters for different straight lines. And this is 3 plus s. And z is equal to negative 3 plus 4s. The first equation over here is very easy to get confused. So let's actually put a zero in front of it. That way, we will actually um, have a better um, way of doing, finding the point and also the direction vectors. So what are we going to do? We're going to find, find a plane and that contains contains just one of these lines. So let's say it contains L1, okay? And parallel to L2. Once we finish this one, then any point from L2 to the plane is gonna be the distance from this L2 to L1. Okay, so um, have, let's say this plane over here, let's call this plane edge, okay. Then we have the following thing. The distance, the distance between L1 and L2 is equal to the distance between L2 and H. So we put L1 inside H, and if uh, we can draw a diagram to illustrate this. So this one over here is L1. And then we have L2 like that. And then the distance over here is exactly the distance between L2 and L1. Okay. All right, because they're parallel. L, um, L1 and L2, they're in parallel planes. And then um, so what you need to do is that we're going to do the following thing. Um, so find the, find the plane. But the plane contains L1 and a parallel to L2. So we, we see that the normal vector of this plane edge is perpendicular to L1 and L2's direction vectors. So we write down this V vector, the normal vector for H is equal to A cross B. A, B, these are direction vectors from L1 and L2. So we can write down vectors, direction vectors, first one, one, three, negative one, and a cross product, two, and one, and four, okay? so. Now we're going to do the calculation of the cross product using the determinant method that could, because that's the easiest way to remember. And we put 1, 3, negative 1 over here, and 2, 1, and 4 over here. So we do the computation. And i is positive multiplied by 1, negative 1, 2. Oh, no, that's, that's not right. So it's 3, negative 1, and 1, and 4. Okay, so this is like that. And j is negative, remember. And then we have 1, negative 1, 2, and 4. Okay. And k, positive. And we have the um, smaller, this determinants of 1, 3, and 2, 1. So now we do the computation. And for i, we have um, 13 over here. And for j, we have 4 plus 2 is going to be 6. Okay. 
and then last one plus k, we have 1 minus um, 6 is going to be negative 5. So we have this direction vector is 13 and negative 6 and negative 5. So that's what we have. Now, um, the Plains equation. Plains equation. Um, we want the plane to contain L1. So it's going to pass this point 1, negative 2, and 4. So what we have is that 13x minus 1 and minus 6y plus 2 and then uh, minus 5 and z um, minus 4 is equal to 0. Let's add this one over here since um, this point over here, 1, negative 2, and 4, is a point on L1. Okay? And then L1 must be inside the plane, the entire uh, line, because it passes this point, and it has a normal vector perpendicular to L1's direction vector. Okay? Um, we can simplify this a little bit, plane's equation, um, 13x minus 6y minus 5z minus 13 minus 12 and we have plus 20 is equal to 0. Okay, So we end up with 13x minus 6y minus 5z and minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, Now pick any point, pick a point on L2. Uh, which point are we going to pick? We pick 0, 3, negative 3. Okay, 0, 3, negative 3. Okay, pick a point on L2. And then find the distance from point, this is point P, and then distance from P to the plane edge is the following. Um, we just plug the point into the equation and divide by the square root of the vector, the, the direction vector, 13 squared plus negative 6 squared plus negative 5 squared. And then x is 0, so we have 13 times 0, and then minus 6 times 3, and minus 5 times negative 3, and minus 5, okay? So we do the computation, and this is going to be square root 169 plus 36 and plus 25, okay? And on the top, we have um, negative, six, negative 18, negative 18, and plus... 15 and then minus 5. Okay, so that's going to be 8 over here over root 230. So that is the distance between point P, which is on L2, to the plane of H that contains L1. And that's the distance between these two skew lines. All right.